So welcome to my parents' place. You can see they've got a magnificent view here. And I've come here today because school holidays in Australia at the moment and my kids are at home as a result. And to try and do any type of film or video pitch at home right now is impossible. There's too much noise going on. So I've come here today to do a $2,500 road bike versus a $10,000 road bike. And as it turns out, I forgot. Um, you can see in the corner over there, there's a house being built next door. My parents are actually moving out of this place. Uh, they're about 10 minutes from where we live on the Sunshine Coast in about six months time, moving over there. And as a result, there's people with nail guns and all sorts of stuff happening sporadically. So you're probably gonna hear a bit of noise. So I've given up on the pitch inside. And I also left my printed off pitch at home as well. And I'm really struggling in front of the camera at the moment um, to talk properly, to communicate, which you might pick up a little bit in this uh, little video that I'm doing here. So please excuse that. And I think there's a reason for it, which I'll explain shortly. But while I've got a bit of quiet time, I wanted to use the opportunity to share with you the truth about starting a cycling YouTube channel. And I feel like this is a good time to do it because the channel's recently hit a bit of a milestone. I think milestones are probably 100, 1,000, 10,000, which is what this channel has just hit, then 50 to 50,000, 100,000, et cetera. So we've just hit 10,000. The channel is growing quite rapidly at the moment. I appreciate and want to thank everyone for their support. Um, in recent times, we're growing about two to 250 new channel supporters every single day. To think it took me three months to get my first 200, and now every day there's two to 250 new channel supporters is unbelievable. So thank you to everyone for your support. But the truth about starting this cycling YouTube channel, and the truth is I absolutely bloody love what I do here, right from when I had a few subscribers to now. And really the reason for that is, you know, I came up here to the Sunshine Coast before we moved up here to stay with my folks, probably around the same time last year, April 2018, because I had so much stuff going on in my career. Um, I was doing bike chaser, but I started doing all these other things and it was getting out of control. So I came up here for some time out and my old man helped me put a few things into perspective. And two months later, we started, or I started this YouTube channel. Um, I mean, July 2018, or June 2018, I started it. And the thing that came out of the discussion with my old man, because he used to work as a business coach after he retired, is like what I want to do in my career. And what I want to do in my career is pretty simple. I want to promote the activity of bike riding. Bike riding over the past 10 years has given me so much, better physical health, better mental health. I know it helps with inner city congestion, taking traffic off road. And I know a lot of people don't think that's a big one. I do because I absolutely hate traffic. So the YouTube channel enables me to promote the activity of bike riding, getting more people riding, um, making the right purchasing decision, et cetera. So I absolutely love it for that reason. I've also had this creative part of my brain, which I don't think I've ever really been able to unleash until I started this YouTube channel. So the truth is I absolutely love what I do here and I love the fact that I'm getting a lot of support from people such as yourself. So thank you so much. The flip side is, now there's always a flip side, is in recent times I'm feeling a little bit cooked. Um, you know, the I'm putting a little bit of pressure, and I know that's only on myself, to publish two videos a week, um, to, you know, scripts, thinking about them. There's a lot of time in front of the computer, editing videos, and which I absolutely love that all, but I feel like now, because it's school holidays, um, and you know, I'm struggling to communicate a little bit in front of the camera. I'm feeling a bit fried in the head. It's a good time for a bit of a time out. Um, I'm going away with the family next week. I'm going to put the laptop away, put the phone away, and just hang out with the kids. We're just going to go bike riding and go to the skate park and go to the beach. Um, for a full week, I think I'm going to even leave my phone completely at home and just have some time, time away, time out. So uh, this will be the last video I publish on this channel for two weeks but I plan to come back in two weeks time refreshed and hopefully ready to go with some bigger and better content for you. Road bike reviews, training tips, um, you know, some vlogs sharing Alice's journey in the Noosa Triathlon, etc. So before I wrap up, I just wanted to quickly show you this book. I've recently read it. I got it from a uh, publisher here in Australia. This guy, Still Bishop, he is an Australian cycling legend. Um, if you are into, if you want to get into racing, or if you've been racing and you're looking for some motivation to get back into racing, this book it will inspire you 
to get into racing or get back into racing. There's a lot of little micro stories in this book which I found to be very, very motivating and uh, still actually retired and came back and went on to be a world champion on the track. So there's no affiliates here. I'll put a link below. Um, I gave away one of these to one of my channel patrons, Michael. Um, and also just on my Patreon account, quickly it's $7 USD a month. Um, so if we're doing giveaways over there and additionally, um, I'm doing some extra content. So this video right here, I'm gonna be doing an extended version of this video over on my Patreon. So I'll link to that below. But to wrap up, thank you to everyone for your support in recent times. I absolutely love what I do here. I love that I'm getting a lot of support from people out there for the channel. And I hope to catch you all in two weeks time.